All right, I'm back. Uh, I haven't played classical saxophone in a really long time, so I'm, you're gonna witness the first attempts at it. I'm putting on a brand new reed. I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. I got these Rigatti classic reeds that I enjoy. Here we go. That fresh reed taste. <laughs> Not bad. Ugh, I feel my diaphragm though is weak. Airy sound. Probably my intonation's all jacked up. All right, what's up everybody? Kevin Benny back again. So I finally got my camera and microphone connection to work because I've been having extreme technical difficulties and that's why I haven't been in front of the camera in a very long time. Uh, sorry with me getting the Google Pixel 3 phone. Lo and behold, that thing is just not optimized for video. It's amazing for photography, but you can't even plug an external microphone into the phone. I've been going back and forth with customer service, trying third-party apps, trying everything. Nothing worked. So I bit the bullet. I bite the bullet. I bit. I bit the bullet. I bited the bullet. Nah, just whatever. And I got. I traded it in for the new Samsung S10 Galaxy phone. And let me tell you. This thing is on fire. I mean, I'm recording with it right now. I got my external microphone connected to it. I'm using it with external uh, third-party apps and it's just like really crisp. You know, I'm, I'm loving what I'm getting. So that's it. With all that said and done, with all this stuff happening, trying to make everything uh, work, practicing has been really tough. So anyway, this video, I'm just gonna be getting back into my classical playing. We got this A2 I'm working on. Marcel Mule, out of the Marcel Mule 53 studies. And we're doing number nine. And the reason why we're doing number nine is because it's got large leaps. And I absolutely love the large leaps. So this is going to be the first day of practice. Haven't looked at this probably in like 10 years. Honestly, I don't even know when I looked at this last. So this is gonna be the first day. Here we go. Yeah, I just, I gotta work out. My bottom lip muscle is not strong. It's, it's gotten weak from not playing classical enough. And I'm getting a lot of fuzz in my sound that I don't like. It's lacking focus. All right, so here it is. First day, whenever I'm learning something, I don't use a metronome. This is just my preference. I like to go through it slowly and really just feel out, like, first of all, my fingers, how it feels, and also, Get the emotion of the song, get the melody of the song, really try to hear what's happening, feel the harmonic language that the melody is implying. That's what you're going to hear a lot in this. So here we go, let's play a little of it, I won't play the whole thing today, but I got a lot of work to do today, not on camera. So here we go, just a little bit of it. <laughs> stuff in here. I'm just looking. Uh... Oh man, I got a lot of work to do. Ah, I can feel I'm extremely sharp on the high range. I've got to check my intonation. So <laughs> this is me critiquing myself as I'm playing the first time after a long time. It's, it's always pretty bad. I'm really, really trying to get out of my head for, for the sake of the video, but this is good for you to see too, I feel. Uh, this little spot right here. Uh, I feel like that's not right. So right here we have this thing where you have, it goes F, middle F, high F, then to E, half step down to E, then an octave down to E, then a half step down to E flat. Back up what it's saying to E natural. But if you keep going through here, E natural to D, that's a whole step. And then we do the same pattern as what's going on here. D to D flat, 
then up an octave, D flat to C, then down an octave, C, half step down again to B. So this E natural to D is totally not, doesn't fit inside of that line at all. This kind of has a Glazunov, if you know the Alexander Glazunov um, solo, this kind of has that similarity in there. So what does it go? <laughs> Right there, that's the, the Glazunov concerto. So it's like the same exact thing. But Marcel Mule is definitely known to throw in weird stuff, I feel like, just to make you really check your fingers to, and to make it hard. So it's like it tricks your ear, which also tricks your fingers. So this is how this part is written. Okay, whereas I think it should go like this. It's a little more rounded off that way. Just my two cents. Okay, so I'm gonna get practicing on this for this week and I'm gonna definitely perform it in my next video. I think that's what we're gonna do. Um, I wanna thank everybody because while I was having this technical difficulty, I reached 1,000 subscribers. So, man, thank you everybody who has subscribed, who's showing the support. Please let me know what content you're after. There's a lot of stuff that I wanna get kept caught up on. There's some things that I've said I'm gonna do. I need to get to those and I promise I will. Also, I have an electronic PDF coming out that's gonna help with the modes of the major scale. It has just one exercise in it, in all 12 keys in every mode of the major scale, that is gonna really help with not only getting the modes under your fingers, but it's more for your ear to instrument connection. This exercise is really great at being able to hear each individual mode. You know, modes are a great building block for improvising or if you're a composer um, and just music in general are built up of modes. So I'll let everyone know when that comes out and just be on the lookout for it. If you haven't already, be sure to click on the link in the description below to be part of the crew. You'll get some free tips and tricks from me on a weekly to bi-weekly basis. If you sign up today, you'll get some free sheet music that's gonna help with the intonation on your instrument, gonna have some exercises that's gonna help maintain your technique, plus others. Be sure to subscribe to the bubble right there if you haven't already, and thank you so much for the 1,000 subscribers, and as always, stay inspired.